How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to download uh, YouTube videos and convert them so you can move them in iTunes and then put them on your iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch. It's going to be a couple step process and I'm going to walk you through every step. First thing you want to do is go ahead and open Internet Explorer or whatever you use for your web browser. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the website www.real.com. Okay. And it is going to take us here. And now you want to click on Real Player Free Download. Okay. And I'll kind of show you. I'm going to walk you through every step on how it works and everything. So click on Run. Depending on your internet speed, it will depend on how fast it will download. Mine's pretty quick, so it just shoots right down. Okay, as soon as this prompts, go ahead and hit yes. So now we're going to minimize this, and it's going to prepare for the installation. We're going to go ahead and hit accept. We're going to agree and continue. Okay. and it's going to retrieve the files and then finish the full installation so this is a really cool program because what it does is when you open up YouTube um, and there's a video playing it'll actually um, this little box pops up and it lets you download that video to your computer that's kind of how it works the software just automatically uh, recognizes when you're um, um, you know pretty much watching something uh, that's online a video and then it'll take it and it'll ask you if you want to download it so right now it says the complete installation download real player enable real player video you must close all browsers hit OK so pretty much it's doing the last finish up and what's cool is it actually um, it works with you with uh, Facebook videos too but we're not gonna worry about that right now we're just gonna worry about uh, YouTube stuff and you can kinda of branch out and once you learn the basis of how the program works um, it's pretty self-explanatory alright so we're all done downloading real player and this is where it's gonna to jump to next it's gonna ask you about doing some upgrade stuff um, I haven't did too much of this uh, real player plus and all that go ahead and just hit no thanks so now the software is installed what you want to do you're gonna have the real player oh actually real player should open up automatically if not you would go to start type in real player and then it'll come up so here it is real player is opening up right now obviously there's nothing in there right now so let's jump to the fun part the part that actually shows you how to convert uh, the YouTube stuff so we're gonna minimize this okay oh actually it was trying to show us something here let's check it out real quick um, so I'm gonna open up the internet here an explorer okay internet slow sometimes and it's fast sometimes anywho all right we'll get going in a second what we're gonna do is now go to youtube.com so now you can see how this thing works I love it I actually use this program to download a bunch of like TV shows from YouTube because there's so many different ones all right so youtube.com and I'm gonna type in just anything but um, the TV show recess recess there's a cool one there is um, economics of recess alright so but basically with from this point you can go to any video and once you play the video you're gonna see something you probably don't normally see on your screen let's go ahead and click on a video anyone will do and you're gonna wait about 30 seconds and this is gonna show up see right here where it says download this video you're gonna go ahead and click on that and then this will pop up and that's it that's how fast it is it's gonna start downloading right to the computer 
I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. And this new icon is gonna come up. This is the downloader. If you click on that, you can actually see the progress of the video downloading. And um, this is a 30 megabyte file, so and it tells you how much time it's gonna take, but pretty much between like two and three minutes. So um, we're going to let that download, and I'll pop right back as soon as it finishes the download, and then I'll show you what to do next, okay? Alrighty, so we're just about done with the video uh, downloading. It took about maybe like five to seven minutes. Again, this is the video from YouTube. was that It was a 10-minute video clip, so, you know, not too bad. Um, here we go. Just about done. All right, so once the video finishes downloading, what you want to do is come to where it says convert and click on convert. Now you have the option to trim the video. I usually take the movie and do my own little edits or whatever, but just go ahead and hit convert. You can kind of play with the different features, but my main thing is just showing you how to get into, uh, into iTunes. So come down to the bottom right here where it says convert to and see how it says Apple iPod. If you click there, you can kind of um, choose different formats. Like, So we want to do iPad you know, for this uh, tutorial. So you will click on iPad, but there's a bunch of other formats you can convert it to that will work as well. There's a big list, all kind of stuff. Zoom, who uses those anymore? <laughs> Just kidding. Go ahead and click on uh, Apple iPod and then hit OK and now hit start and now it's going to do another conversion and that's what gets it into the Apple iPad format so you'll be able to put it into iTunes and actually transfer it to your iPad so we'll go ahead and let that convert and then I'll jump back as soon as that is finished alrighty so we've reached the uh, under a minute mark the uh, video is just about finished being converted to the uh, iPad format as you've probably seen, it does take a little bit of time. It took me about a half an hour for the full transfer to take place. Um, if you want it done faster, you can uh, upgrade to the uh, Real Player Plus, uh, where it will be two times as fast. Um, if you're like me, I love free stuff. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the free version. What I usually do is I'll pick about five videos and have them all converting at the same time, and I'll go and like uh, make dinner or go take a nap or leave the house and come back leave the computer on and just let it uh, download so when I get back it's all converted and finished so um, takes a little patience but again we did do a 10 minute video had we done something shorter like a, a sketch or um, I don't know just a commercial it would have gone a little bit faster so that's the process right there that's how you download it it's been successfully converted and um, what it does is this is checked right here where it says add converted files to my iTunes library so what you would do is go ahead and hit OK and if you look up here uh, real fast it just shows you that now it's converted to the mp4 or m4v format which will work on the iPad so now I'm gonna go ahead and just press OK and now it's adding it right to iTunes for me so I don't have to do anything and I think that's a new feature because I don't remember it doing that before. But hey, you know, if it does that, even better. And it actually opens up iTunes now. And it'll actually show you where the video is. So I'm going to go ahead and, well, that minimize automatically. I'm going to don't download for now. And then come to the left column and click on movies. Because it will still show up as a movie. Um... Right now it's gathering my genius information, so I gotta wait till that finishes. And no on that. You know, you let all the startup stuff happen. Let's try it again. Click on movies. And if I type in the title, economics. There it is. And it's actually this one right here. And the reason I know is because if you ever have a movie in iTunes, you haven't watched it, there's always a blue dot next to it. Now, this video, I actually uh, converted it a couple months ago, so it was already in my library. So it just threw a second one in there. But um, that's it. Um, step three, which is really simple. I won't leave that out. You would actually plug in your uh, iPad to the computer. And let me go ahead and um, 
make sure we show you all the steps. All right, so grab your USB cable and plug it up to the computer. Plug in your iPad, you'll hear a little noise, a little dun up. And I'm gonna, I want to show you exactly how to make sure you find the video and make sure it gets on your iPad. There's one last step. Uh, your iPad will show up in the left column under devices. My iPad's name is Patty Mayonnaise. In case you're a Doug fan, that's old school. That's where that comes from. Go ahead and click on your iPad right here under devices. Again, it'll have whatever the name of your iPad is right there. Sorry about that. That was my little ringtone from my phone. I'm getting a text message. Okay. So look at the top column right here. Summary, info, apps, tunes, music. Click on movies. Okay, and if you come to this little box at the top where it says search movies, go ahead and type in recess. In fact, that might not be the best search because I have, oh, okay. Uh, I have a bunch of recess episodes in here. I'm a man of the classics. Don't hate me for it. Type in economics of recess. Type in the specific name of the video, and there it is. Remember, it's the one that has the blue dot next to it. That means we haven't watched it. So you would want to check that box, and then you would click Apply, and then it will take a second, and it will add it onto your, your iPad, and that's it. When you go to uh, Videos, the little video app on the uh, iPad, it will show up as a video on there. So this is how this video has been, how to transfer a YouTube video onto your iPad. Um, it is a couple steps. But, um, you know, there's so many free, or YouTube is all free videos, so take advantage. You know, I found, like, some old TV shows when I was a kid, and I've converted a whole bunch of them on my iPad just because I'd rather get them on there for free than have to pay for them. So, hope this was helpful. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video, and have a good one.